then chaps, and welcome to the finale of the pre E3 extravaganza. I'm covering everything else all in one video because I can. to see the big three and what I think of all them. There'll be links in the description and there'll probably be one of those wee floating card things about it. But if you're on mobile, just go through the channel. It's not that hard. Right, what we know about the rest of the conferences. Bethesda are going to show off a new IP. The PC gaming show will be as shite as it's always been. Welcome to the PC Gaming Show! Ubisoft will show how out of touch they are once again. And while I'm one of the few people that don't have a problem with Aisha Tyler hosting, I mean that is if she is indeed returning this year, I hate whoever is doing the writing for her. It's the most fake and patronising shite I've ever heard. It actually succeeds in making me embarrassed for being into video games. You may remember our next title from the end of last year's show, when it blew your fucking mind. And if you're at home playing a drinking game, yes, an F-bomb in the first five minutes of this show. Finally, EA will show off Battlefront 2. I mean, if this were a bingo card, that would be the free space. I'm actually going to skip over the what to expect section, because in all honesty, I... I don't really know what to expect outside of Watch Dogs 2 DLC or a new Madden. Eh, fuck it. Let's just skip to the dream announcements. Bethesda announced Doom 2. More cursing soundtracks and more gore. Just give me it all right in my fucking face. Ubisoft re-announces Beyond Good and Evil 2 with a concrete release date. And they show in-game footage. And it looks outstanding. And everyone cries. EA come out and are like, you thought we were done with Mass Effect? Well fuck ye! Mass Effect Andromeda DLC pack with 7 new squad members! Everyone's been fixed! 10 out of 10, greatest game of our time! It's whoever's presenting weeps openly over a picture of Peter Moore. Finally, Half-Life 3. I think it's about time we just all forget about it and move on. It's basically Duke Nukem Forever at this point. If it ever is made or released, it'll be utterly shite in comparison to what could have been. Whatever the fuck that means. So I, we've reached the end of our pre-E3 journey. But E3 is in a couple of days, so for the final time guys, what are you most excited about for E3? What are your hopes and dreams? Leave a comment below. And if you want to know what I thought of E3, well, I'm going to be doing a mic check in a couple of days with Lorenzo. That's our podcast by the way. So feel free to hit the subscribe button and just wait patiently for us to bring out that. And, you know, if you like this video, hit the like button. And did I mention subscribe? Because you should do that. And if you didn't, well, that hurts my feelings. But, put it this way, I have nothing else going for me. Until next time, guys, I'm Mike. This is Mike's Mike. Have a good evening. Thanks again for watching guys, it's appreciated. Um, if you have any questions for the E3, like if there's specific things you want us to talk about, leave your questions in the comments below and we'll talk about them on the mic check. Until then guys, thanks again. Catch you.